Hi, welcome back to Healthy Kids Inc. We are here again with more recipes for you and your family, and this is the prep video. This is where we show you how to portion out, how to prep, and how to organize your meals so that you will just sail right through each of your five dinners this week. So the meals that we're gonna show for you this week, we're gonna feature Monday, it's gonna be a fettuccine with squash and goat cheese. Tuesday is gonna be a Tex-Mex rice bowl. Wednesday is gonna be a Philly cheese steak pizza. Thursday is gonna be arugula pesto with chicken. Friday, we're gonna bring breakfast to the dinner table and we're gonna serve a bacon and egg tart with a fruit cup. That takes care of all of our meals. Let's show you how we prep them. On Monday, we're featuring fettuccine with squash and goat cheese. So let's show you how we prep this meal. All we're gonna be needing is some of our pasta here. If you can find some whole wheat pasta, that would be great. In addition, we're also gonna be using some of our frozen corn. And we also have some of our beans that we'll be using. Any type of bean will work in this recipe. So we've got our beans ready to go. We also had to chop up and portion a little bit of our Parmesan cheese that's freshly grated. And then we also have some chives here that we went ahead and chopped up as well. We have a little bit of our goat cheese. We have a lemon that we'll be using. And lastly, what we went ahead and used is a butternut squash that we went ahead and diced up. So that's all here and ready for you. And if you have the chance to even purchase some squash that may be diced up already for you in your um, produce section, feel free to use that as well. So that's all that we're gonna need to make this meal and that takes care of Monday for us. On Tuesday, we're featuring a Tex-Mex rice bowl. Yet again, another easy meal for us to prep. All we have to do for this meal, obviously we're gonna be using some of our frozen corn kernels again. And we also have some of our low sodium taco seasoning mix that you can just simply buy at the grocery store. Some of our lean ground turkey that we'll be using. We also have some reduced sodium black beans that we'll be using for this recipe. We have a little bit of fresh cilantro that we went ahead and chopped up and cut up. And then we have some of our salsa that we'll be using. Now the final ingredient to this is a little bit of your brown rice. And if you have the option and want to cut your cooking time down considerably on Tuesday night, then go ahead and make your brown rice on the night of your prep, which is what we've done here. So that's gonna make this meal ready in about 20 minutes. And that considerably cuts down the time you would normally need if you had to go ahead and cook your rice as well. So that takes care of Tuesday's meal. Hope that you enjoy it. On Wednesday, we're featuring a Philly cheesesteak pizza. And what a great meal for your hump day. So this is all that we need to do to get this meal ready. First, we're gonna start with our very easy pocket thin. So you can use any type of a pita bread that you'd like, or in this case, it's just a really thin little pocket pita that you can use. So we're gonna be using this for the basis of our crust for our pizza. In addition, we also have some mozzarella cheese that we went ahead and portioned out. And then we also have some of our veggies. So we've got some onions and we also have some of our peppers already cut up and ready to go. And lastly, we're gonna be using a little bit of garlic and a little bit of fresh parsley. And the last thing that we need to finish this meal is a little bit of our meat. So for our meat, we wanna make sure that we get something that's very thin that we can stir fry very quickly. So you may need a little bit of help from your butcher to get a really thin slice of meat. But once you have that, that's all that you need to pull off Wednesday's meal. Hope that you and your family enjoy. On Thursday, we're featuring arugula pesto chicken. All right, so there's quite a few ingredients for this meal. So let's show you how we prepped and got this one ready. First, we're gonna start with our green beans. So we're gonna be using just some frozen green beans in this recipe, and then we're gonna be using some small pasta. So we have some really small pasta here that we'll be using, and we're gonna go ahead and just boil these two together, and that's gonna serve as part of the basis of our meal. In addition, we also are gonna be making our pesto, and the pesto is gonna be including some arugula, so we've got some baby arugula here. We also are gonna be using some pine nuts for the pesto, and then we also have, in addition to that, a little bit of our freshly grated Parmesan cheese that we went ahead and portioned out. And then we also have some of our fresh parsley here that we'll be using as well. So that's gonna serve as the basis then for the pesto. The pesto will go on top of the pasta and on top of the chicken. And we have some chicken breasts here, which are organic chicken breasts that we'll be using for that. And then on top of the chicken breast also goes a little bit of our panko breadcrumbs that we went ahead and portioned out as well. Lastly, we have a couple of tomatoes here that we're gonna slice up. We're gonna put a little bit of pesto on top of those too. And that's gonna round out everything that we need for Thursday's meal. On Friday, we're bringing breakfast to the dinner table as we serve an egg tart with a fruit cup. What a simple dinner recipe and the perfect meal to end your week. So let's show you how we prepped it. First, all we need to do is use some 100% whole wheat bread. So we've got some of our bread here and ready to go. And this is gonna serve as the basis of our tarts. All we're gonna do is line a muffin tin with our whole wheat bread and that's gonna take care of that. The inside of the tart is so simple. We have a couple of eggs here that we'll be using. We also have some diced tomato, a little bit of diced onion cut up. We have some low fat cheddar cheese, and then any type of meat that you want to add to this. Always recommend that you buy some low sodium meat. You could also do, you could do a little bit of low sodium turkey from the deli. You could do some turkey bacon, and this is just some turkey sausage that we're gonna be using. So anything goes for that. That's all that you need. We're gonna whip all this up. We're gonna bake it in our muffin tins, 
and then we're gonna serve it alongside of a fruit cup. A perfect, easy dish to end your week. So that takes care of all of our meals for this week. Hope that you and your family enjoyed them, and we'll see you back again next week with five more recipes.